G'day, Elwood here with The Country Underground. Today we'll be interviewing Gail Medill with The Country Music Muster. My name's Gail Medill and uh, I'm involved with The Gympie Music Muster. So Gail, how long have you been with The Country Music Muster? Um, 1982 was the very first muster, so this will be number, I think, 33. I'm starting to lose count. So, um, but it's been a wonderful experience for all those years. And how did you become involved? Yeah, my husband John was in Apex, and, um, and it was out at the Webb Brothers, and they had a big ball to celebrate the Webb Brothers um, 25th anniversary in the country music industry. So uh, I was part of the catering team that catered to the ball. And um, it's all moved on from there. What changes have you seen in the Music Master over the years? Many changes over the years, especially once we moved to the new site in 1985, where a whole site was created especially for the um, muster out in the Emmamore Creek State Forest Park and uh, it, it is uh, I think it's a real asset to the community and uh, and it's a wonderful experience for anyone who attends. You've also been involved in promoting country music in magazines. Back in 1994, uh, a group of us at the muster office decided we needed a, another country music magazine, so we started up Country Update. So that was in 1994, and it was when Garth Brooks came to Australia at the peak of his fame. So he was on the cover of our very first issue. And we went from strength to strength, and Country Update is still going today. I sold it in 2004. Uh, 10 and uh, after 14 of oh, many years and now it's um, being run by Denise Torrenbeck. She owns it and she uh, does a wonderful job. It is a real credit. It's a national magazine. It's available in all the news agencies. So it's something that uh, we're very proud of to have started and very proud of the work that Denise does with the magazine still today. So how are you involved in the muster today? Well, once I sold the magazine, I've been involved you know, all the way through. Um, I stopped being uh, involved in the organising or when the magazine uh, took control. So I had about seven years where I wasn't involved, and, but I still attended in a media capacity. But after I sold the magazine in 2010, I decided to take a year off and just not do anything. But uh, then in 2011, I came back to the muster when Jeff Chandler got involved, was, became the programmer, and uh, I, I assist him uh, uh, throughout the year, and, uh, and still doing that today. So what excites you about country music? I have always loved country music, and I'm just, um, happy to be involved and, and with the whole country music industry as a whole. Um, the way seeing new talent come through and uh, where it's all going. Um, and I think that is something we have to encourage because um, for the music to survive, we have to have young people. And it is amazing the amount of young people that, that are passionate and involved in, in country music. And I just think it's wonderful to see. What has been your role in the CMAA? The CMAA is the Country Music Association of Australia. It is the uh, industry body for country music in Australia. Um, they also run the uh, Country Music Awards of Australia each year in Tamworth. Um, I became involved in 2011 and as secretary and for the last year, two years was involved with the um, organising of the awards, so I was very proud to be, be part of that and um, it, it, it is a wonderful night of nights to see the people receiving their golden guitars and it's a, it's a great show and it's a great celebration of our music once a year. So with the muster, you've seen a lot of changes in the programming. Uh, what kind of changes have there been? Back in the early days, uh, when we were doing it back in 80, say 1987, there was no computers and uh, no apps, no email. I just don't know how we, we managed to do it because you had to do everything by phone um, and then we had the luxury of faxes. 
and uh, then we had to depend on mail. So everything, uh, and at that stage we would organise flights and everything like that. So you would send it through the mail and have to wait to get everything signed and, and uh, responded. And as well as with, with the programming, and that same thing happened with our computers for the ticketing. So um, when you started the day, everybody in the office for the first couple of hours would take calls and take ticket orders. Uh, so that, that just took the whole um, two, our first two hours of the day. But now it's, it's all done uh, through the website and uh, so you're able to, to do other things. And so that, and I think that also means we, we don't have to have as many people involved in the office and organising like we did back then. And paper going everywhere, that was the thing. We just had paper, orders, everything and trying to collate all that was always such a challenge. Now it's just a push of a button for a printout, isn't it? So it makes life so much easier. And the same with the artists, it's all recorded on a uh, special database and, and then you have it forever. And what is it that you like about the muster? I'm always excited to see new artists and even the ones that I know uh, from previous years because they often have new material, new albums out. And so it's always exciting to see established artists um, with their new material and just to see the way some artists have evolved. People like Luke O'Shea, the, who is just such a wonderful storyteller and uh, will be back again this year. And earlier on the year in January won two golden guitars. So I'm I, excited to see, he has a new album out, and I've been listening to that and learning the songs. And so I'm uh, looking forward to seeing him perform perform his new songs. What impact do you think Caitlin Shadbolt has had in the country music scene with her role on X Factor? I think uh, Caitlin is doing a wonderful job. I've sort of known uh, Caitlin through the muster over the last couple of years when she has performed. But actually seeing her evolve right from her first performance to her performance last week, she is just embracing it and is just blossoming. And um, I think it will, be, it will be a wonderful experience for her. And I think it's a great experience for country music as, as a whole, um, just showing what country music is, that it is uh, a wonderful, fun music, and it's not all serious and dour. Listening to the judges discuss the muster is wonderful, especially at this time of year. It's, it's a wonderful plus. And how important do you think the country music muster is for the Gympie region? As well as a wonderful experience for uh, country music or music lovers as a whole, but it is a wonderful event for our community because it is a, it is a fundraising event for the community and all the labour involved is all volunteers for, for over 30 community groups. So, and that's why I think it is such an iconic and wonderful thing for Gympie and uh, Australia as a whole. Thank you, Gail, for talking with us today. And this has been Elwood Smith Cripps with The Country Underground. Stay tuned for more of our episodes.